Good morning! How many voicemails should I leave a prospect before giving up? Oh man, if I had a list of the top 10 questions that I'm asked, that one would be at or near the top. And like any good consultant, I give several answers, figuring that one of them has to be correct. First, the more you want to do business with that company, the longer you should call on them. I chased one CEO for six months before she finally called me back. She praised my diligence and the fact that I stayed patient with each and every one of my weekly, yes, weekly voicemails. It's a good thing she didn't hear what I said about her after I hung up from those voicemails. On the other side of that thinking is my belief that if someone doesn't return your voicemail, they're showing you what kind of business person they are. They're telling you what they think of you. When someone doesn't return my repeated attempts to contact them, I have to ask myself the question, is this a relationship that I really want to pursue? Overall, I see it as relentless pursuit, but not hopeless pursuit. On the subject of being too aggressive and risking irritating the prospect, I figure it this way. They're not doing business with me now. If I piss them off, what's the worst that's going to happen? What, are they really, really not going to do business with me? Perhaps I'm just being northeast aggressive, but I'd rather err on the side of aggressiveness than give up too soon. Only once in the 20 years that I've been a sales trainer has someone yelled uncle to my prospecting efforts. To me, returning a phone call is common courtesy, but I'll save that point for my print buyer's video tips. How long should you go before giving up? I don't think I can give you a definitive answer, but I can ask you one important question in return. How badly do you want the business?